let's take a look at how to do bad debts in QBO. So first of all, let me create an invoice that is not going to be paid by John Doe. Okay, at this point we have a $5,400 invoice open for John Doe. So in order to issue a credit memo on this, we're going to need to have a bad debts expense account that's linked up to the bad debts item. So I'm gonna create an expense account, bad debts, I'm just call it bad debts, okay. Now the key is we need to actually use a sales, a product and service item that is available to use in a sales form. So I'm gonna make it, a, just call it bad debts and link it to the bad debts expense account. So that will reverse the income coming in. Okay, save and close. Now, I'm gonna go back to John Doe. Rocky Road, and John Doe has come across rocky times, so he's not paying. How do we uh, allow that to happen? Okay, so we're gonna to go to a new transaction and issue what we would call a credit memo. You can also find that under the quick create and select the credit memo from here as well. If you do it the way I just did for uh, you'll, you'll see uh, that I need to start to type the customer here. Okay, now I'm going to type bad debts. Okay, um, didn't pay, invoice, um, this is not, just not gonna happen, okay? And we would put in the amount, 5,400, um, actually, there's tax in it, I forgot, there's tax in it. So we use the same tax, California tax, 8%, so a, amount here, okay. And um, at that particular point of time, we're gonna hit save and close. Okay, now I'm back in John Doe here, and what happens is QuickBooks will automatically, if the dollar amount matches, will automatically, um, close that invoice off as you can see here. The credit memo um, is closed, the invoice has been paid, and um, it's zero. So how does that affect the books? Okay, go to reports, profit and loss. Let me make sure that um, concrete should be in here. Just go ahead and Concrete, concrete, where are you? I bet it's linked in here somehow. I sh okay, well, the way we can find out real quick is go to products and services to see how the concrete, yeah, it's coming, or click here, show what the income account is, and concrete is landscaping, so. Um, all right, let me edit that just so we can create it. I want to create a concrete one just so it's easier to, for us to see. And when I do that and I change it, I also want to click also update this account on historical transactions. So that way we're gonna have a clear idea of seeing the profit and loss for that $5,000 uh, concrete. Okay, so here we go. There it is, so it's in there. Look, John Doe, you know, remember I, it was 5,400 for the tax, but the actual sales account was $5,000. So you show that, of course, that's accrual basis there. Um, it's been paid, so it's also gonna show up as the, in a cash basis. And then we're gonna try to see that expense of bad 
debts for 5,000. So let's go down here and there it is. Voila. Awesome. So that is how you can create a bad debts to tie off an invoice is use the credit memo with the bad debts uh, connection there. Okay. Um, if you'd like more help with your bookkeeping and accounting systems, you can go to sequentialsolutions.com or send me an email at stevechase at sequentialsolutions.com. Hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.